But it's Mike from Mike's Unboxing and Reviews and How To. And on today's video, we're going to take a look at how to stop external websites influencing the advertising that you see on Facebook. Now, this is, can be problematic. So, if you're looking for something which probably isn't something you want to be really people aware of, and this comes up on your advertising feed, it can be somewhat embarrassing and also somewhat annoying. So today we're going to take a look at how to fix that, and big shout out to Tim at Yate Computing for highlighting this. Thanks very much, mate. Much appreciated. He is also on Facebook, so feel free to check him out. Anyway, with all that said, let's head over to the computer and see what we can do. So here we are on just a standard Facebook page, so we're logged in here. So what we're going to do is go up to our settings section here, or our account settings, and we want to go into settings and privacy, and then you want to go into settings. Now it's weird because you think you should go into privacy center or privacy checkup, you don't, you want to go into settings. Now over here on the left hand side of the screen, just scroll down until you see a section which is called off Facebook activity. So this is basically other websites reporting back to Facebook with your browsing history and therefore suggesting you adverts. So click on off Facebook activity and now we get the option to review our off Facebook activity in the account center. So we're going to click on continue and here we have the section for your activity off of Meta Technologies. So you can check out your recent activity. So if we take a look on there, you will have to put in your password and it'll go through and then it will show you things which you've been to. So Elgato, Asus, Puget Systems, Techware, Obspot, etc. And the list goes on and on and on. And you can see the amount of adverts that they've tried to push you with a number here. So what you can do, first of all, is to clear your previous activity. So if you're sure, click on clear. You still get warnings there saying that you will still get the same amount of adverts, but they just won't be based around your browsing history. So click on clear previous activity. And it should come up saying that previous activity has been cleared. So now we can go back. So now we want to go into manage future activity. So you've got the options here. So connect future activity, which is pretty much what the default setting is, but this is the one we want to do. So we want to disconnect future activity. So as it says there, we'll disconnect information that businesses and organizations send us about your interactions with them. So basically this is stopping external websites from influencing the metadata that is within Facebook. So choose this radio button here, click on continue. And again, it'll give you the warnings, disconnect future activity. And there we go, future activity will be disconnected, so that should now clear this off. So now when you go to various websites, you won't get that popping up in your advertising feed, or at least that's the theory at present. Once you're done, you can close all this, and then go back to your traditional browsing feed. So now at this point, you shouldn't get any of those distracting adverts about things that you visited in the past, potentially you might do, and obviously, Facebook does change its layout from time to time, so if this particular method doesn't work for you, please do let me know in that comment section below, and I'll try and update the video with any future changes to the actual layout of the system. Hopefully this is going to be helpful to you though. If it is, smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and the chime notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.